Let's talk about the JSON data format. JSON is short for JavaScript Object Notation. The term JavaScript might lead you to think that the format is somewhat related to the programming language Java. That is not the case. They are only similar in names. JSON is language independent. It is an open standard data interchange format using human readable text. Like XML, it is also text-based and lightweight, optimized for storing and interchange data. JSON objects could be easily converted to and from JavaScript as well as Python objects. JavaScript and Python are two of the most popular programming languages in web development today. This is a big advantage in JSON's adaptation, as we will see in the examples in just a bit. JSON data objects often consist of attribute value or key value pairs surrounded by curly brackets, as well as array or list of objects. When there are multiple key value pairs or list of items, they are separated by commas. JSON data types include numbers, such as integers or floats, as well as string, booleans, which are true-false values, or null. JSON objects should be deeply nested, meaning we could have list of lists, or dictionaries of dictionaries, or the combination of both. This allows us to represent structure and hierarchy. As we will see in later examples, JSON objects could be easily mapped into Python dictionary objects. Unlike XML or YAML, JSON does not support any standard methods for including comments. Also, data objects are separated by brackets or comma, so white spaces are not significant. This makes the JSON data objects efficient because we could compact the message into smaller sizes for transport. Here we could see an example of the JSON representation of a response from a Cisco Nexus switch running NXOS. The first thing to notice is that the whole object is enclosed in curly brackets and all the values are represented by key value pairs. We could also see that there are several layers of hierarchy inside of this data object. The first layer is with the key of INS underscore API, with its value being another associated array. Inside the value, we could see other key value pairs, such as the type, version, and outputs. Notice the value of the outputs is what we're typically after in this particular response. In this simple example, we could already see the simplicity of the JSON object compared to the XML format without the use of tags. With this simplicity, there are trade-offs. One of the trade-offs is JSON is less descriptive. Also, as mentioned, we cannot use comments to enhance the data.